morning guys it's saturday morning june 22nd 2013. Um, when i was working on the coleman heat pump there a couple of days ago i noticed how uh, dirty it was so i'm going to go over this morning and give it a good cleaning which i'm ashamed to say i haven't done in a couple of years but uh, the coal really doesn't get that dirty on it just a lot of stuff in the bottom of the unit um, so i'm going to go over there and give it a good spring cleaning and get everything tip-top shape It's already up and running this morning. Hey guys, I got it shut down here. We'll start my cleaning. I wanted to give a special thanks to my friend Stephen Lavamonaire on here. He sent me this uh, cool little fin and coil whisk brush. And that's the coolest thing I've ever seen, guys. I'm gonna use it. Try it out today on the Coleman here. I'm gonna clean the coil, get all the, the leaves and stuff out of it dry, and then I'm gonna use a coil gun after I get all the all the leaves of pine straw out of it. I got a whole bunch out over there the other day while I was when I was working on it. I took the top off and pulled all those out. I was going to clean it, but of course during a work day it's hard to stay back here long enough to do it. I just barely got the new board on it and had to go back. I had to go back to work, but I'm over here on Saturday, so I can get it. I can take my time and do what I want to today. So I'm gonna get it all shined and cleaned up good. Thanks again, Stephen. I appreciate it, man. Okay, guys, I'm gonna shut down the thermostat here it stays set on 80 on the weekends i leave it running i don't ever turn it off because this metal and glass room that it's in if it gets hot everything in here gets hot all the way down to the core you can pull these books out of the shelf even after you cool the room down they still feel hot inside so i figure it's better just to go ahead and let it stay cool in here you know with a moderate temperature there rather than turn it off I'm gonna start get the Kimball ready here, start it up so it won't get hot in here while I'm working. Okay guys, got the power off and everything and I'll put the top off here. I'm gonna vacuum all this dirt and leaves out of there. I got it all uh, dry cleaned here as I call it. Now I'm gonna get a, give it a rinse and then put some coil cleaner on it. It's never had a coil cleaner bath before. This coal is pretty easy to wash. You can, it's really thin. You can just, you can kind of just see right through it. See, so it's real easy to clean. I was gonna take this unit apart, but it's just a. Sorry, it's a lot of trouble. I'm just gonna do this and clean out this bottom tray, and I think it'll be fine. That's the only place I really couldn't get to, but it, it just, it's got enough of a area there. You can just blow it out with the water hose on the jet setting. It comes right out, see? Clean as a whistle. I got a coal cleaner. Ah, oh, no, there's another gallon right there. If I run out, I'll have some more.
I'll start out with that, that might be enough. Setting C. This. I forgot what color it was. It's dirty. I mixed me up a little coal cleaner in a bucket here. I'll go over it with this wash mitt here and get some of that grime off of the little coal guard. Might as well make it look like new if I got plenty of time to do it. Looks like new down in there now. Alright, clean down in there now. Coals are nice and clean. Look like brand new. Alright, let me get the fan back on. All oh, the drains are working now, guys. All that stuff can run out of there now. Hey guys, my shop back has got a got a bag in it so I don't want to suck the condensate drain out with that and mess up my bag I don't want to take it out so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blow it out from in here with my water hose here I got hooked up I'm just gonna take that loose there and I flush it all the way back to the outside there I'll show you what comes out That's where my condenser cleaning turned into a little bit more here <laughs> I'm at the air handler back here and I'm just gonna take a look inside here I hadn't checked this in a while but looks like I might need to clean my drain pan there a little bit and clean the condensate drain too Okay, I've taken my drain apart here, guys. I want to clean out the trap and and uh, get this where I could turn it down. Actually, I'm just going to cut it, and I got some new fittings here. I'll cut it all. I'm just going to put <clears throat> new pipe and fittings all the way over there. And I'm going to wash out this drain pan here right quick. Drain pan dirty guys. Been working on this for a while. Funny if I do it over here. Yeah, it goes all the way around and comes back out on this side. <laughs> Washing out that back side. I want to use it. I put some coal cleaner in this and use it to apply it to the coal from inside the return over here. And uh, then I'll do the best. I'll do, do a pretty good rinse job on it. Kim Moore's keeping it nice in here, guys. Now I'm gonna add some water pretty real slow here so I don't get all that foam. I couldn't hardly get any water in it because it's making so much foam, but if I do it slow here, I'll be able to get some water in there that cool. Okay, guys, I'm about to climb back in the return here. Got my coal cleaning solution ready. Just gonna give y'all a look at the coal here before I start. 
it's not bad but uh, I guarantee you the cleaning will help it a little bit I got towels down here, gotta catch my drips. <laughs> Shouldn't lose too much. Let's see what it's looking like. Yeah, looks like it's washing some more dirt out of there. Probably gonna spray the other side too for a rinse. Then I'll have to reconnect my drain. Check this out. This is this brush that Steven sent me. Works really good on the evaporator coil too. Look at this. Drags that stuff right out of them fins too. I got me a bucket out here to rinse it off in. I think it works good on any kind of coal, wet or dry. Okay, now I've got the sprayer uh, pumped up with just some plain water. I'm gonna do some rinsing on this side. And rinse that good as I can, then I'm gonna Spray the drain pan out a little bit too on the other side. Okay guys, a little more rinsing there where I brushed off that dirty spot. And I'm down to the nitpicking now guys. I'm washing the remaining little residue out of the pan. What I'm doing just, I've got my water hose here. I'm just using a short, a short little stream of water back directing back to the pan. That makes it, that makes it uh, come out right over here, see? stuff out of there slowly but surely. Yes, don't look bad at all. I guess wet evaporator coils make pretty good filter so it keeps the blowers clean when they're mounted up high like that. <laughs> they don't get the air first like on a gas furnace. <laughs> anyway guys, I did have the power off to this all this unit, both the unit, air handler and the outdoor unit. This is the sub panel for the, for the air handler and for the outdoor unit. Uh, I gotta get my drain put back together guys and I'll be done. I'll show you you guys, I'm redoing my drain connection here. Got my sack of PVC here. This is leftover stuff from doing the redoing the one at my house. Let's see. I had that piece already cut left over. That's perfect. Put a 90 right there. That'll be perfect. All right, guys. Let me get that glued up. That's where I button this up. I'm going to flush this condensate drain out real good. Guys, drain pan is clean, drain is clean, all glued back up. Ready to go. Just gotta get it back. It's time to fire it back up. Put up my tools. Give Kim more break because I can already hear that uh it's struggling in here. When the head pressure gets up, it starts making lots of noise. It's still cool in here though. See, it's been holding 80 the whole time, running constantly. Anyway, guys, I'm going to button this up and get it turned back on. Well, Kenmore did it again today, guys. Get in here and turn it back on. Turn the uh, cold heat pump back on, that is. Flowing good again now. That's 
better than I fessed up. I've seen it flow out there in a long time. I think it may still be trying to fill up the trap in there is why it's doing that. But once that trap gets good and full a little, it'll probably be good. But yeah, you can tell that drain's clean. I haven't seen it condensate like this since probably when it first installed. Makes a lot of difference getting them drain pans and lines all cleaned out. Coleman heat pumps all fresh and clean. Running good. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Over and out. That took me about five gallons of water, guys. Clean that coil. That wasn't bad. Let's see what all come out of it. I think it's settled to the bottom already. Pretty dirty.